Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Vert, and we are back with our second hash PVE video. In today's video, we are going to cover the lower end grind spots such as Polly's Forest, all the way up to places such as Star's End or Hadoom. If you guys are interested in a more advanced combo, I'd recommend you check out our first PVE video, which is great for places like Ash Forest and Owens Valley. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, in the first part of the video, we're going to talk about our skill add-ons. The first one I have here is going to be Shadow Splitter. This is going to be a nice little pre-buff when you get to the pack. It's going to give you 20% crit and 7% attack speed to start your combo off, as well as shred the monster's DP. Ridge Reaver, we have the accuracy 3% and evasion minus 3. This is just going to increase your overall hit rate while you're grinding. Next up, we have Quicksand. For Quicksand, I chose Critical Rate as like a pre-buff. And then we also have the bleed on it. And the bleed is actually a very cool trick that I learned recently. The bleed actually allows you to pre-pull extra mobs that are outside of your cap. So let's say you have all 10 mobs pulled, but you have bleeds on another five mobs. As soon as you kill a couple mobs in your pack, it's gonna pull the extra to you. So that's a very cool little PVE trick that I picked up recently. And I chose to put it on quicksand. The next skill we have is Chosen Blade. For Chosen Blade, this is where I moved the monster damage instead of using it on Hourglass because I felt like Hourglass was just way too long of an animation for a quick PvE combo. And then I also added the 7% attack speed just to, again, increase your overall combo rate. Next, we have Descent. This is gonna be your big T3 skill. We put the 30 monster damage and the 5% crit hit both great modifiers and gonna allow you to clear so much faster the last skill dune slash as always little cooldown shreds dp then you add a dp shred to that and your mob is basically paper we also have a three percent crit hit damage on that skill all right guys in this part of the video i'm going to show you guys how i buff up for an hour-long grind session you're going to want to start off by grabbing 15 of the 1g bars from your storage keeper Today I'll show you the church NPC in Hydell. This is typically where I've been buffing and grinding the most ever since the Elvia servers released. So the church is going to be right here. You're going to talk to Arson. So there's going to be three different buffs and each one costs 500k or 5 1G bars to roll. We're going to grab attack, protection and experience. These buffs are going to run between 5 and 15% skill and combat XP, between 3 and 8 AP and accuracy. For the HP, you can get 50, 100, or 150. And for the DR, you can get 3, 5, or 8. After picking up my church buffs, I typically head outside the town, or you can go to your grind spot. Either one works. But we're going to stop here. We're going to pop up in our tent. And in here, you go to Villa Scroll. I typically run the Villa Body Enhancement for 60 minutes. This is gonna give you a bonus 10 AP, 10 DP, and 200 HP. And these are great stats, not only for a little bit more damage, but also survivability if you're kind of pushing the limits of where you're grinding. Besides the church buffs and the villas, I run a simple cron meal. I run Frenzy Draft. I run Spirit Perfume Elixir. And then, you know, if you want to pop any XP or whatever else, that's on you. The one last buff that I grab, and most of you probably won't have this yet, but it's something that's nice to work towards, is the Crocdala win set. This horse gear set is going to give you a bonus 5 AP for an hour every time you pop the buff. All right, guys, we're going to hop into the skills now. I'm going to show you guys how to keep three buffs up at all times. So the first one is going to be your accuracy buff from sand divider. This is going to be your SF. Your second one is going to be your sand slicer, which is just LMB after almost any skill. And that will give you your 10% attack speed buff. And then the last one is going to be your AP buff. And that's going to come from holiday throw, which is your SRMB. And this gives you 20 AP for 10 seconds. So all three of these you're going to want to have up 
at all times. To do this, I typically go into a pack after I'm done pulling. I'll do SF into left click, and then I'll SRMB into Dominion. And that's what it looks like. And it's gonna be very fast to get those three add-ons up. And those are built into your kit, so they're additional to your add-ons that you already have pre-selected that we talked about earlier in the video. So one more time, it's just SF left click, SRMB into space. That's gonna give you those three buffs really nice. It adds a ton of damage to every single pack and gives you that combo speed. Wait a minute, who are you? All right guys, we're gonna start with the lower end grinding. I'm out here at Polly's Forest and I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to grind. There's a really lazy way to grind and I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it all the time as it is good to get the muscle memory for all the skills but it's something you know if you just feel like going through the motions getting your skill points and progressing towards end game this is one of the combos you can do and it's it's simply it's just dash into left click into spacebar so it's going to be your dash into sand slicer into dominion and right now we're at 212 ap just to show you guys that this is efficient at low end grind spots. So it's gonna look something like this. And that's all it takes. So dash, left click, space bar. Dash, left click, space bar. And that's the very, very lazy way of grinding. I'd recommend doing some fun things like switching up and doing purge into Ridge Reaver, messing with your movement and perfecting it, you know, using your bombs, getting comfortable and using it to move from pack to pack, as well as your air assault, because those are all tools that you're gonna to wanna to learn how to use for not only PVE, but PVP in the future. So it's important to just mix it up a little bit and get comfortable with the overall kit. All right, guys, in this section of the video, I've lowered my gear down to 265. This is typically about the average people start to come to Star's End. While I'm grinding Star's End, I use my Augstone, a simple crown meal, body enhancement, and then for sustain, I use Frenzy Draft, so I don't have to worry about HP potions. And for my mana, I use a Spirit Perfume Elixir, which recovers WP as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys a couple combos. I'm going to run through it, and then we'll really break it down in the battle arena. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to pull the mobs. The first way and most common that I use is gonna be quicksand and click to move. If you guys aren't sure how to set up the click to move for quicksand, it's in our movement guide. If you guys wanna check that out, it'll be in the description below. Another way you can pull mobs is binding spirals, really good for range, and you can also do holiday throw. What you have to be careful with is that both of those abilities do stiff mobs so if you're grinding somewhere where mobs can be cc'd that can actually slow down your pulls by cc'ing them because then you have to wait for the animation and then they start running to you so that can actually slow down your grind so make sure if you use those to pull once again the mobs are not cc'able all right so in the clip you guys saw me group the mobs and then after i grouped the mobs i went into the combo that i showed you guys from earlier it's going to be the accuracy attack speed AP and then Dominion. That's typically how I start off every pack. It's gonna give you good initial damage as well as get your buffs going. After that Dominion, you can go into Shadow Splitter to debuff and proc your add-ons, the crit and the attack speed. Then after that, I typically will use Descent and Dune Slash to make sure you have the tier three add-ons 
and the massive DP shred on the mobs. To follow up that combo, if the mobs are still alive, you can use either one of your Rebombs, which is going to be your Shift X, or Prophecy Blade, and your Shift Z or Mirage Assault. That'll help you get the last little bit of damage. If they're still alive, 1 HP, you can do the Holiday Assault and the Flow off that. Alright, the next combo, you're going to start the same way in the middle of the mob pack after you've pulled. You're going to pre-buff into Dominion. After this, you're going to do a dash into Dune Slash. Then you're going to do Purge, Ridge Reaver, into Chosen Blade. And that's going to look like this. This combo allows you to get the rest of your add-ons up while still doing great damage. And once again, if the mobs are not dead, this is when you would mix in your Rebombs, Mirage Assault, and Prophecy Blade, as well as finishing it with Holiday Assault and Tail Cutter. All right, guys, that's going to do it for part two of our Hash Succession PvE guide. I hope both veterans and beginners were able to take something away from this. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or swing by the stream at twitch.tv slash vert. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed our video and I'm out. Peace.